Okay, guided problem 12.4. I'm not going to go through the whole solution, uh, just give you some some guidance. Okay, so we have a solid disk. That's that's the solid disk. Okay, that guy's the solid disk, obviously, and that's the hoop. They have different radii and different inertias. Okay, different radii and different inertias. And they are set near the top of a ramp and then released. The ramp is inclined at 4 degrees and it's 1.8 meters long. Which object reaches the bottom first? Which object reaches the bottom first? And if you watch the other videos and if you've actually read the textbook, you'll see that we have this equation. We spoke about this uh, previously. This equation is the acceleration of the center of mass of an object that's rolling without slipping. And it's equal to this g sine theta, which is, this, which is the same as an object that is sliding down an incline. Right? g sine theta. And then, if you, if you have rolling without slipping, you divide it, you divide this acceleration by some factor um, I'm using the wrong word factor but by some denominator which is 1 plus C where C is your shape factor and it's important to know that your C is independent of inertia and radius it's independent meaning it's just a number so in this whole acceleration do you see anything to do with uh, inertia and radius. Nothing. That is quite fascinating. Okay, so if we say ACM for say the hoop, it will equal G sine theta divided by 1 plus. Now what is your shape factor for a hoop? If I can try to Okay, so here we have a hoop. That's your shape factor. It's one. And a solid cylinder or a disc is half. So you're going to have one plus one. So you're going to have this G sine theta over two. And for the solid disc, the solid disc, let's make sure that it's a solid disc. The acceleration of your center of mass will be G sine theta over... 1 plus a half, which is g sine theta over 1.5. So clearly the acceleration of the disk is larger than that of the hoop, because for the hoop you're dividing by 2, but for the solid disk you're dividing this, right, these are both the same, right? g sine theta is, both, is the same for both of them then you divide by a smaller number. So the acceleration for the solid disk is larger. So the solid disk will reach the bottom first. And then you'll have the hoop. So B, after the first object reaches the bottom, how many seconds pass before the other object reaches the bottom? Okay, so this is just in... Um, what we were used to before is if you've got the acceleration now of the center of mass then you can just use these kinds of equations um, v final is v initial plus 2 sorry plus a t uh, v final squared is v initial squared plus 2 a delta x Right? I was able to solve it the time using these two equations. So what is the V initial for both of them? It's zero. And you've got your two. First of all, you need to calculate what these actual accelerations are. So step one, calculate the acceleration for the hoop and the disk. Now you've got these values. You've got your delta x, right? Uh, which is 1.8. This is 1.8. And you can solve for your V finals for both of these and then work out your times. Okay? 
So I think I've given you enough information there to solve it. Cheers.